Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today what you see on my screen is what we are going to be creating. Every single thing you see is going to be created entirely in Canva. We are not going to be using any external um, tool or whatsoever. So if this is something you are interested in, all I have to say is stay tuned and I should be right back after the intro. Okay, so before we get started into today's design, all I want to say is you can use Canva for free for 30 days or if you're looking to upgrade to Canva Pro, I have a special link in the description box that can help you to get Canva Pro for a very cool price. And the other thing is with some of the elements I'll be using, you may not find them in Canva. So I have this website I created for you, which is elements.theafricangeeks.com. You can go in there and any element, you know, you do not find in Canva, you can actually search on there and um, download them and upload it everything is free you don't have to pay anything so yes let's dive straight into the design and let's get started with what we have to do today all right so you can see this is the design we are going to be creating today every single thing was done in canva so to get started i just click on add a page and the dimension i'm using is 1080 by 1350 okay so after you do that you just come into photos okay and in photos you just have to search for stadium so sta D I U M. okay so when you do that you should get a lot of um images here you understand so um i already used one so in my case i will just close this up and i will just head on to the recently used um images so i just click on see all and i should you know find the image i use so i just scroll down and this is the image i actually used okay so just in case you want to use the same one i'm using the keyword to use is empty professional baseball arena at night okay so i think this is very simple so i click on it and it should be added on my design like you can see i just you know increase the size and make it fit like this okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to add a gradient and this gradient it can be found on the website i shared with you which is the elements.theafricangeeks.com so just go in there and search for gradient okay so i'll just come into my uploads and i will just search for it from here so like you can see this is the element i was talking about the gradient element so after you've downloaded it just upload it in canva and place it right on top of the stadium image you have added then double click and pull it to the top you understand so that we can just have the gradient so you can see we have the image at the top but getting to the bottom it looks like a very smooth gradient we have over here then the next thing you have to do is to come um you know go back into the element website and search for nfl player okay i have mine over here so i just click on it to add it so this is what i am going to do then we come to edit image in edit image you would see adjust click on adjust in adjust we will just um decrease the brightness a little bit increase the contrast okay i'm increasing it to 20 and the saturation to like 16 okay then what i'm going to do here again is with the gradient shadow we added i will duplicate it no gradient not gradient shadow so i duplicate it and place it on top and you can see what we have so let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see you know what i'm doing into details so i would click on the nfl player again go back into adjust okay and i would reduce the blur okay so that my image becomes sharp okay okay that's very sweet then that's what we have at the moment then press t on your keyboard for text okay and you can say anything at all so i'll just say gameplay okay then i increase the size so because i'm using canva pro um, i'm able to upload custom fonts into canva but if you are using the free version of canva you can use fonts like anton or fonts like league um, gothic i think you should be able to find that inside of canva okay so after i do that i just you know lift my um you know text here a bit and i increase the size more okay and i send it to the top over here okay so then i come into effect then in effect i uh, click on shadow and on shadow i change the color to black so when i change the color to black the next thing i just have to do is to increase the blurriness of it and increase the transparency of this then with the direction we will just um you know reduce it to negative 37 that's all you need to do okay so 
the next thing i'm going to do is i would want to drop you know just a little bit okay then i would you know with the image i will just click on it and increase it to the top and send this also to the top and send it to the back okay not to the back but you just have to send it backwards so you can see what we have at the moment then duplicate it okay just drop it down a little bit come to effect come to hollow okay change it to hollow and reduce the thickness okay depending on the font you are using you have to reduce it to something that makes sense okay then you send it behind the player okay then we change the color since i have a yellow here i don't use that yellow so i click and i change it to yellow duplicate it you know position it somewhere here as well you understand then i'll just move on to add his name so i just duplicate this text and um let's say his name is um agnush i don't know but this is just a name agnush um knight no agnush skywalker and uh, i'm sure if you are a star wars fan you know where the name skywalker is coming from so i will reduce the line spacing of this okay so that we can have it like this very neat then come into effect and just remove the shadow effects then i reduce the okay the size of the text and i position it here so since i have a yellow i will change the skywalker to you know the same yellow so you know so this is what we have at the moment and reduce it more just a little bit okay and um, i will just move it up a little bit so this is what we have at the moment so you can see the next thing i went on to do was to add um this text okay and this set of um icons so with the text i just click on t to add the text okay and um, just in case your t is enjoying the holiday today is um second may and we are just observing may day so if your text is on a vacation just enjoying the holiday you can just come here click on text and you should be able to see um, various options so you can just choose any of these options add a subheading okay so i will select all and i'll just say 2022 okay so 2022 um nfl what am i doing okay so nfl championship okay so this is what i have at the moment i select or come into the typeface area you know so that we can just change it and i choose last taker so you can also search for it in canva it's a free font so you can search for it and i will reduce it okay and i will just place it maybe somewhere here okay so what i said here was in super sport so i'll just say super nfl okay so super um nfl sport okay championship i don't even know what i'm saying i'm just focusing so hard on completing this okay so after we do this then come into element okay and in nf <laughs> i was about to say in the um, nfl in element you just have to search for um you know logo okay or you can just search for sports logo to be precise okay so you search for sports logo and you should see a lot of them over here so come into graphics especially and um you know you you see a lot of um sport logos over here and the interesting thing is you'd have to search for logos that you know would relate more with your design so you can see over here that almost even though they are basketball logos but i just added them because i think you know it was matching with my design you understand so i just have to scroll through to find it and be and just for the sake of time i wouldn't um do the whole searching process and all of that but for example if this is what i want to use i can just click on them some of them would have the opportunity to change colors like this one okay so once i change color i just change color to fit what i'm working with so i change to the yellow okay and uh, maybe this one to white okay then what you just have to do is you reduce the size okay and um not too much okay and then position it here to select this move it to the top over here and you can see it's giving some recommendations so you can click on see or and this is where you can find more um similar icons okay and you just add them and arrange them but because of time i will just copy all these icons here and i'll just paste it so you can see 
how i've done it beautifully i've copied everything nicely so what i'm going to do next is i'll click on this text over here and i would reduce it slightly okay then after i reduce it i come into position so click on this triple dot you see position and you just have to center it so this is what we have at the moment then i added some more text so i use the same fonts i have over here but i think i'll just reduce this a little bit okay and select all of this okay by holding shift and clicking all of them and move them to the top hold shift again click you know just to select everything and move it to the top okay so i just would also select all of those texts i added okay and paste it here because i can't type them all again i want to save um your time okay so you can see we are um almost oh what am i doing so you can see we are halfway through or we are just almost done with it the next thing i want you to do is go back to the element website okay so let me just pull it up um quickly okay so you have to just come back to the element website and scroll just scroll down okay you see this um stadium blue light download it okay and add it into your canva okay so you can see i have mine over here so i just select it and um, i would crop it yours might be just one just like this so you just just um you just have to follow the same steps okay so position it to the corner here and increase the size you understand then position it somewhere here okay so you can even increase it more and send it to the corner okay then i just crop it this way and i will scroll up and also just copy this way then i duplicate it okay then come to flip and flip it horizontally then you just position it here as well you understand then you duplicate it again bring it to the bottom but this time around you are going to increase it this way and copy it this way okay then we position it here and um in the example i gave i just hit it completely so i can just make it bigger and hide all of this okay so that it will just look like this you understand and then um, just crop just copy this way duplicate it come to flip and flip horizontally and also you know position it here so you can see this is what we have been able to do inside of canva and this is very easy and very simple if you've been able to make it to this point of the tutorial i must say that i really really appreciate you don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't and if you need more canva tutorials i would highly recommend to check my channel because it's just full of canva tutorials that can actually help you to improve on your design okay and the name is benjamin don't forget there is no limit to creativity i would see you in my next tutorial